hi guys how are you doing welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video i'm basically going to manchester for the first time ever for like a little mini break and um yeah i thought i'd just vlog some of it because i've never been there before and um i'm really excited I'm gonna stay in this little apartment and um just go for drinks do some shopping have a look around um i've got some recommendations of good people of good vegan places to go from my friend Geraldine. Um, so I'll check some of those out. And then also gonna head up some bars and, but yeah, I thought I'd just take you guys along with me. Smile, Lynn. so it's the second day of us being in manchester um i did actually vlog the day yesterday in bits and bobs but i didn't really speak about it last night because i just forgot basically um but yeah i've woken up this morning i'm not sure if you can see it on this camera and i won't know until i go to edit it but i literally have woken up with this random rash i'm not really sure what it's from i think it's like some sort of heat rash anyway that's besides the point but just letting you know I'm not like I haven't got some weird disease or whatever um anyway so yesterday was literally so nice um we were walking for probably like six seven hours all together uh, we went for a little explore around Manchester just to see some of the like buildings and it was really pretty um we also uh went shopping we also went to two amazing places for food um after recommendations from 
two of our friends who live in Manchester. Um, yeah, we went for a really nice breakfast as soon as we got here. A um, little law of attraction story as well. When we first got to our apartment that we're staying in, the lady was like so rude to us at the desk for no reason. And um, she was like, oh, you can't drop your bag off here. Um, we don't like have anywhere to put your bag. And we were like, oh, okay, no worries. And she was like, yeah, and check-in's not till three. And it was like 11 o'clock. And we were like, yes, we know. We just want to drop our bag off. Um, so that was that. And um, we were like, right, what should we do then? And I was like, do you know what? Let's just go and have breakfast. Um, so that's what we did. We had a lovely breakfast, lovely time. Um, we walked back to the hotel. And by the time we'd released all of that resistance about the lady who was less than uh, complimentary behind the desk, the uh, the lady that was now behind the desk literally tapped into her computer and was like, oh, there's an apartment for you right now. And it was only 12 o'clock, so we actually got in super early. Um, and that meant we could just go and explore the rest of the day, which was amazing. Uh, we went to this like junk food, vegan uh, like shack thing for lunch. And oh my God, the burger I had was absolutely insane. I had like katsu tater tops and it was just like off the scale. Um, yeah, apart from that, I just literally walked around for ages, came back, had a shower and chilled a bit in the apartment. And then we went out to um, some of the bars in Manchester and had a few drinks. We had this one drink. We went to one bar that was called uh, 202 Kitchen, which we'd seen on Instagram and it was like all pink and it was just right up my street. It was so cool. And then after that, we went to a sky bar called 20 Stories. And uh, we had this, we, it was so nice, but we had this cocktail called Nicholas Sage. And it was literally so sagey. It was like drinking like, I don't know, some sort of like cleansing ritual. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, it was so strong. And then we literally walked back to our apartment um, and got some food on the way back. But yeah, I literally had the best day ever. I'm a bit achy today, I'm not gonna lie, just from walking for so long yesterday. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go catch the tram in a second. And we're gonna go to the Trafford Centre, do a bit of shopping. And then um, we're gonna hopefully go to, after that, gonna go to this place called The Keys which looks really nice um, on kind of on the way back for the evening because it's really pretty. And then come back here and probably go out for drinks again because there's just so many nice little bars around here. Um, we've made a little list like prior to coming so I'm sure we'll just like sample one of those bars on the way back. But yeah, so that's what we're doing basically today and I'll try and vlog again in bits and bobs. But yeah, catch you there. <laughs> So it's the end of our second day now. Um, I'm just doing a little catch up vlog um, before we settle down and just have an evening to ourselves in the apartment. We had such a lovely day today. We went to the Trafford Centre, Manchester. And um, yeah, I'd never obviously been there before. It was so nice. It really reminded me of um, America and like all the malls in Miami and stuff. Like it was just, like I honestly felt like I was in a different country. It was amazing. Um, yeah, it was just all like theatrical and just like old fashioned and it was just like great. There was palm trees everywhere, really got me in the in the vibes. And um, yeah, we also went to the big food hall that's there and um, considering like ship life, um, the entire middle of the food hall floor was basically like the Lido deck of a ship. <laughs> just like, it was insane. It was so cool um, to see and then we sat there and like, um, just chilled for a bit. Yeah, it was very nice. I primarily wanted to go to the Trafford Centre um, when I was planning this trip <laughs> because I really wanted to go to Abercrombie. I know it sounds stupid, but there's not an Abercrombie um, near me where I live. Um, and the last time I went to Abercrombie was when I was in America. Um, and the only jeans that fit me properly, 
that I've ever found apart from Topshop jeans um, are Abercrombie jeans and I've not had a new pair in like 18 months so that was my kind of goal for the trip is to get a new pair of jeans. Um, so bless the man in the shop, um, he had so much patience with me, I tried on about 15 pairs of jeans and came out with two banging new pairs of jeans so that was good. Um, yeah, just went around loads of nice shops and um, after that we decided to go to the Keys um, and that's where all of the film studios are like ITV and BBC um, and there was a few outlets there. Um, yeah, we just had a nice little walk around just to see the, the scenes really, it was so pretty, like a kind of like a harbour or canal. Um, yeah, I feel like honestly we've done so much in the last few days, we've just crammed everything in. Um, we were contemplating staying another night tomorrow, um, just to add on to our booking, but I think we honestly have just done so much and we're so tired now. Um, we are just going to go home tomorrow, but we're just going to have like a nice little evening to enjoy the apartment now. Had a nice bath earlier, very relaxing. Just went out for some nice dinner. Um, yeah, and we're just gonna chill. Oh, also I got um, a new blanket. It's got Mulan on it and I'm just absolutely buzzing about it. Um, but no, yeah, apart from that, that's basically it. I feel like I'm gonna round off the vlog here um, just because tomorrow we're just gonna be like grabbing some breakfast and getting the train. Maybe I'll put my breakfast in there, who knows. Um, but yes, thank you very much for watching this little vlog. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, I've definitely enjoyed um, the last few days and I hope Zach has as well. Haven't you? Yes. <laughs> he said yes. Um, <laughs> thankfully. Um, but yeah, so thanks again for watching. I hope you have a lovely day or night depending on what you're doing. And oh! Subscribe! <laughs> one. I forgot to mention a little attraction story about um, Abercrombie was I obviously was going there with the notion that all, all of the dressing rooms are closed like you can't try anything on um, but when I got there I was thinking I was gonna have to like buy her some jeans and then like try them on in the toilet and then like bring them back I know gross but like what else can I do um, and I literally that was fine that was like how it was in my head I just went walked into Abercrombie and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice if the dressing rooms were just open? And the man, I swear to you, comes up to me and goes, oh, the dressing rooms are open today, just to let you know. And I was like, amazing. So that was just like completely opportune. And then also there was like loads of deals on on the jeans. Like it was the last day of this deal, which basically made my jeans like buy wing up and free. Um, and I got £10 off for this voucher that I had. So literally it was just... Um, a lovely law of attraction moment to be honest with you that's just me rambling and i'll probably put that bit that i just said in earlier um yeah anyway see you in my next video bye